everyone welcome back once again to my youtube class guys i am manjit rawat your online instructor this is another session of azure architect guys recently we added a one playlist based on the content of ag305 so in this class i am going to help you to understand about our back service and also we'll discuss about how to protect any resources so before that i am going to show you the blueprint that we need to use to complete our ag305 content as we know that teach me cloud always try to give you a uh, quality based content that's why i'm going to proceed with the uh, blueprint of microsoft azure 305 so you know that for azure 305 if you want to check the content you just need to open google and type ag305 it will redirect you on page of uh, uh, content information just need to open first link and you know that we have already discussed about the module so ag305 categorized in five different module we already started from the first module and discussed about the prerequisites so this is another session of ag305 so in this class i'm going to help you to understand about uh, uh, governance strategy for azure services we have already discussed about the prerequisites like we almost completed the part of uh, subscription resource group about the difference between region and zone if you want to see just go through the i button just click on the i button it will redirect you on page of uh, previous session so we have already completed this point now i'm going to move ourselves to next step next step is related to build a cloud governance strategy on azure let me explore it because n number of services are available in this particular module like you should know about introduction so the meaning of introduction in this particular module we will discuss about maintenance and manage the security of our azure resources the first topic is control access to cloud resources by using azure role based access control uh, yes it's a related to you can say that it's related to uh, we can say that uh, uh, rbac with the help of rbac service we are able to control the services we are able to control and manage the azure resources prevent accidental changes by using resource log so these two different point i am going to show you properly with practical but firstly you need to know about the concept of rbac that you are able to provide the proper step to configure the rbac service using azure portal meanwhile let me open our azure portal right to use the rbac service your portal must be able to access the active directory services means your subscription must be contain the information must be contain the information about you can say that must be contain the information about azure active directory so let me log in my azure portal portal dot right azure dot com i'm going to log in my uh, using my msdn account although i have already created i think one virtual machine or any uh, multiple storage account are available in my account so i'm able to show you the proper practical the usage of our bag but before that you should know about the concept why it is important and how uh arbec service can perform the task in real environment so meanwhile let me help you to understand about the arbec service how arbec service can work in real environment so first of all we should know about the scopes the meaning of a scope which types of resources or which types of services you can use for the arbec right so we are trying to perform the task of arbec means role based access control this is our agenda and as per the name suggest the meaning of uh, our back service we are able to distribute the access the rights of our existing services with azure active directory account so we will use the azure rbac service to our azure active directory services 
azure ad user not azure ad data services by using a different different method with the help of uh, different policies or permissions we are able to assign the access of our azure resources we are able to use rbac service for subscription we can use our rbac service for uh, our resource groups and we are able to use our rbac service for uh, any resources and management group as well so rbac service can help us to share the resources or subscription right you can use rbac service for management groups right we are able to use rbac service for resource group as well and you are able to share any resources as well the meaning of resources n number of resources are available like you can proceed with virtual machine you can use your storage account networking or any kind of web application that you established with the help of rbac service we are able to distribute now question if we talk about permissions so n number of permissions are available you can share the service by making it owner we have option to distribute our resources or services with the help of contributor we can share the services with the help of editor or you can say that read only permission is also available so these all are the permission that we will discuss while configuring and we will assign the same permission we will assign the permissions to our active directory user so once you assign the rbac service to any azure active directory user user able to perform the same task i'm going to show you proper practical how we can use it so let's start with resource by using the rbac service i am going to share resource access to our azure active directory user back to azure portal and first of all open security under the security panel we just need to click on active directory azure active directory services in azure active directory services we must need to create at least one ad user for the testing purpose although i have already created multiple users using my azure active directory select user but in case in your case you need to create a new user fresh user for uh, this practical in my case i have already created like aws as your gcp so i'm just going to open gcp user in incognito wizard open portal dot azure.com right this is the url that you can use to sign up or log in your azure portal proceed with gcp at the rate glue creation so at the rate is uh, glue creation is my on domain that i purchased from code id and glue uh, gcp is just a account name it is in progress so let's wait for a few more seconds we successfully log in our gcp user and uh, if you want to check how many resources are available so i don't think we are able to find any resources in our active directory because we haven't assigned any kind of rbac service so although let me check if we are able to find any resources because if we talk about our azure root account this one is our root account so in our root account i have already created multiple virtual machines and uh, some storage account are also available in our uh, root admin root account but in our active directory user we are unable to find any services we are unable to find any resources like let me verify the number of users number of virtual machines select vms and in the virtual machine panel i think two or three virtual machines are available class 0 domain net train new training something these three different you, uh, virtual machines are available uh, but unfortunately in gcp account right because the gcp is the type of uh, uh, 
active directory user account but we are unable to find any virtual machine so our back service as per the diagram with the help of our back service we are able to distribute we are able to share the access yes you can say that we are able to share the access of our subscription yes we are able to share the access of subscription we are able to share the management group our resource group our, our individual resource as well so i'm going to show you the step how to distribute how to provide the access of our virtual machine for as your active directory user back to the root account select the virtual machine that you wanted to distribute that you wanted to share with your active directory user and not only the virtual machine you are able to distribute any resources select access control iam and iam is a identity and access management that help us to uh, distribute or share your resource with as your active directory user select add it will provide you two different option add role and assignments and add co administrator so i'm going to provide the access of uh, uh, custom access for this resource owner contributor reader n number of services are available n number of permissions are available i'm going to make it contributor okay i don't want to authorize all the rights provide the contributor policy select your member the meaning of member here you need to provide the name of your active directory users so our active directory username is gcp at the rate gluecreation.com select your username click ok next no need to do anything review and assign by using the rbac service by using the iam service we are able to share the resources from our root account to any azure active directory account so we successfully assigned the accessibility of our virtual machine domain back to gcp account and refresh the page you will get the information about your domain over a gcp account maybe it will take time we have to wait for a few more seconds we signed our virtual machine domain as a contributor right so maybe it will take up to 3 to 5 minute time so let me pause the video and within 30 to 40 seconds we are able to find the same virtual machine that you shared through root account to gcp we are able to get the information about vm right and you have a right so of uh, only contributor so you are able to perform the entire task just like admin So guys, this one is our root account, and this is our Glue Creation, the GCP at Glue Creation dot com. Uh, it's a type of active active user. We are able to get the virtual machine that we shared. So I hope you understand about the concept of uh, uh, RBAC role based access control. If you have any question, if you have any doubt, please let me know. Drop a comment. Definitely will reach your comment and provide you the proper solution. Thank you guys take care bye bye and do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel take care guys